Hi, I'm Jason Hernandez. I'm Sam Klaus. And I'm Matai Reffert. And we're here to bring you the STEM topic of the day. Today's topic focuses on how math and robotic works together in auto manufacturing. We are going to look at how robots will help improve precision, efficiency, and accuracy and key big businesses in the United States. First up, let's take a look at what we found in the research in our community. According to our community survey, 81% of people believe that a similar mask can only produce 800 cars per day. Well, we toured the Honda manufacturing plant in Greensburg, Indiana to get the real number. And we found that the day we go at Honda plant was 1,000 cars per day. That means that the new car was being driven off the line every 72 seconds. What is even more amazing is how they use robots to increase efficiency through precision and accuracy. I agree. Let's take a look at an example of how robots were used to increase efficiency. We had an opportunity to interview Kirk Inskeep and Chad Riker from the Honda Manufacturing of Indiana. During this interview, we learned how robots are helping speed of production and increase revenue. Only a few years ago, the Honda plant was producing around 800 cars per day. Through engineering, math, and robotics, Honda is now able to produce a thousand cars per day. We found out that one key element to being able to produce more cars was the addition of robots. That's right, Honda started out with 290 robots and producing 800 cars per day. By adding 58 robots and 24 associates, Honda is now able to produce a thousand cars per day. How did Honda know that would be profitable to add in that many robots? Great question, Sam. Let's take a look at the math used to decide. According to our experts, they have to determine if the return or investment, or ROI, would be high enough to invest 58 more robots. Kurt explained to us when calculating ROI, it isn't just a financial return that Honda is concerned about. Honda uses a formula which factors in safety, money, time, and ergonomics. According to this formula, the goal payback should be met within 24 months of installation of any upgrade. So the administration at Honda did the math and determined that the ROI was good enough that they decided to purchase 20% more robots to be able to produce 25% more cars per day. Back to our survey. Did you know 94% of people believe that the number of robots in auto manufacturing was greater than the number of people? Well, it's a good thing we did some research to help to dispel this myth. Honda has even created more jobs for people here in Indiana since the implementation of robotics. So you mean instead of sending jobs over the break countries, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, we're able to keep jobs here in the U.S.? Yes, and this wouldn't be possible without the application of robotics. We also visited SEIC Engineering. They produce parts for the military but don't utilize robots in production. It can take them as long as three months to produce a single specialized part. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. More robots, more efficiency, more money, more jobs. And like Victor Hugo said, no army can stop an idea whose time has come. And the time has come for robotics. <laughs>